So hello and welcome friends to our channel Intro Mac and here we discuss about basic mechanical engineering concepts. So guys we have started our new series regarding the basics of fixture designing. So we have seen what are the principles of fixturing. So in those principles the clamping is one of the important principle right. So today we will see some mechanical clamping devices and in that we will see what is the strap clamp and how it can be used how we can select that so please do watch the video until end and don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for getting the updates of the upcoming videos so without testing time let's get started so let's see what are the types of mechanical clamps first we have a uh, strap clamps then we have screw clamps we have cam clamps hinge clamps then we have wedge clamps and toggle clamps now these are the different types based on their say, construction their point of application of force then what is the different mechanism used for applying the force so today we will see what are the strap clamps right so here you could see the basic strap clamp so you can see over here now this is the strap which is applying the force on the part then we have a stud over here and then we have some resting part over here right now this stud when we tighten it it is applying the force the clamping or say work holding force over here now let's see this is the strap you could see over here actual and this is the stud this is the actual part right so this is the part which is getting rested this is the stud which when we tighten it it applies the force or at this point and you could see over here we have fixed or we have holded this part over here and we can have different designs of the straps you can see over here there is some projection and this is another kind then we have this is another kind so we can design the straps according to the our requirement right now here you could see the clamping force when we apply some torque over here when we tighten this stud the clamping force is getting applied on the part now this is the stud here you could see the stud size the recommended torque that means how much you should tighten the stud then what is the clamping force we are getting and what is the tensile force in the stud right that means how much we are applying and how much we are getting over here so this is based on the basic principle of say leverage so according to the position of the stud this clamping force will vary now how we will see now let's see the first let's analyze it the total force f total which is getting applied over here is nothing but the sum of f1 and f2 it is getting splitted at this section and at this section right so f1 will be f total into l2 so f1 will be f total into l2 and f2 will be f total into l1 so f2 will be f total into l1 now let's see uh, case 1 so here we can see we have a job and we have a stud and this is the portion now l1 and l2 are 0 0.5 0 0.4 5 right so in this case let's say we have a stud of this half inch and you can see the tensile force in the stud is 4600 right now let's see what are the calculations we have applied a force of 4600 pounds right and case 1 now we have the distances and we have f total so f1 will be 2300 pounds and f2 will be 2300 pounds right so here you could see so this force is essentially for this case only right because the stud is at the center so it is applying equal forces at these locations right so that's why we are getting same forces of 2300 at both the locations 
now let's say i want some additional force or here now what i can do now if you have observed over here you might have seen there is a slot right now this slot is given for changing the position of the stud so that we can vary this l1 and l2 distances and we can vary the forces now let's see uh, the case 2 over here right now we have the a part over here and this is the stud now what i have done i have shifted the stud on the left side you can see so that my distances now have changed and uh, let's see we have again applied the same force because we have the same stud now here you could see the forces now f1 is like 4600.7 because my l2 is 0.7 now we have increased the distance my l2 is greater right so i am getting f1 as 3220 pounds and f2 is 1380 pounds right so that means my force at this section has increased so this is how you can adjust the stud position and you can get different forces so this is how the strap clamp is used now what is the disadvantage over here is the tightening time is more that means loading and unloading time is more because you have to tighten the stud then you have to like loosen the stud so this takes a lot of time over here right so now, now let's see how we can select then go to the misumi and type the strap clamp misumi you will get lot of parts over here just type strap clamp and search now you we will get the different kind of results you could see here we will get different strap clamps there are different levers over here right these are the different types you can just strap clamp with screw hole let's check out we have a strap clamp with screw hole and you can have the product description and you can see what are the materials and that is the threaded strap clamp and according to your requirement you can just order these strap clamps you could see here how much height difference uh, they allow so that to accommodate the parts of different heights right so you can order from this we, you can have similar products over here different types of uh, clamps over here step that is the step clamp adjusting clamp plane clamp right so you can order according to your requirement right then we have jargons also in jargons also we can get some kind of strap clamps this is another make like misumi you, we can go to the work holding solutions then in work holding solution we have work holding and locating components and power clamping and so many other things right let's see work holding and locating components now in this we have some clamp assemblies right so you could see over here the straps are also there different straps you can order let's see clamp assemblies and here you could see different kind of uh, options available over here right so you can have radius and flange nut clamp assemblies and different accessories are also available you can uh, purchase them right let's see the straps we have strap pads radius straps like miniature straps steel heel then tapped straps so these are different kind of uh, straps which are readily available you can also manufacture them or you can just uh, buy them from these manufacturers right so they have different uh, parameters you can see miniature straps and here some part numbers and uh, there are all the parameters are given here you can see the part drawing also for the dimensioning and part literature you can go to their manual and you, you can read the manual what the different things are mentioned over there and so many other things right so 
these are the strap clamps right so let's check uh, what is mentioned in the catalog because catalog is very important there are so many things mentioned in, into the catalog which you can utilize right and while selecting the part you should you must read the catalog you can get information of so many other things from the catalog so catalog is very important while selecting any anything right so these are like radius end flange nut clamp assemblies you can see the thread sizes over here because on the basis of thread size the clamping force is dependent right so this this is the catalog now and let's go to the clamp assemblies right the miniature clamp over here and uh, we have the flange nut radius these are the different uh, clamp types and you can read the you can get all the dimensions then drawings and all those things or here so catalog is uh, very important you must uh, read the catalog properly so this is it about the strap clamps and i hope uh, you liked the video so so this is it for our today's session i hope you liked the video and if you have any doubts please do write into the comment section and we can discuss over there until then keep intro making and thank you for your patient listening thank you Thank you.